All right, so it's day three of MAGFest, and last night after the gig that Split Screen played, I had someone come up to me and say, I want to ask you if you want to send it on one chart. So I thought I would make a little video about my process for something super last minute, playing a tune I don't know, just getting to look at the chart today. I guess we're playing at 6 p.m., and I'm hopefully going to catch a little bit of their rehearsal somewhere between 3 and 5, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is sit down, take a look at the chart, play through it with the recording that I found, and kind of just make sure I can have my stuff as to Together as I can so that when I get to the rehearsal I can just hit the ground running and hopefully everything will go smoothly. Alright so the first thing I'm looking at is the tempo which is 250 so this is fast. It looks like it's in A minor, a solo section at F, no backgrounds. Just kind of making like a mental note of like everything that's going on in the chart and seeing if there's anything tricky. Next what I'm going to do is I'll honestly probably just try to play along with the recording until I get tripped up and then I'll stop and work out that section. Okay, I just noticed an articulation thing right at C it has and I just want to make sure that it's not this at C do 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 you is that supposed to be long or is it supposed to be short do do I think it's supposed to be short okay I've written short I just want to make sure oops I've been playing it long no that's okay try it once short yeah yeah one two one two No, no, it's all good. This rhythm, it's written as da do, but she's not singing that. Is that the rhythm you want? Ba bow. Yeah. Okay. Is it one, two? It's, I think on the recording it's like bam bow. <laughs> it's like dotted eight, dotted quarter, then eighth tied to a half note. It's like ba bow, ba bow, oh, I, I, I think. Like Maybe I'm supposed to play it as it's written, and that's totally cool, but whenever I'm comparing a chart to a recording and I notice these discrepancies, these are always things I want to check with the band leader. There's like a line between like transcription and arranging, you know what I mean? So like I, I never know what people want, so I'm always just trying to cool. make sure. Another thing is, is the solo section open? I'm assuming it is, but I want to make sure, so I'll write a note because in the recording obviously it's just twice through and that's what the written chart is, but it doesn't, doesn't say open, so. I'm gonna write that down to make sure that I clarify that. <laughs> that's a don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing quote. That's funny, I should try to play that. Also, uh, H, what uh, dynamic did I write in the alto second part? It says forte, forte. Okay, Christian, change yours to forte if it's not forte, which I don't think it is. Can I see if you have two before E or two before E? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that should be time. Oh, it's not ready for the. That bar keeps tripping me up. I'm assuming it'll be short. Oh, on the end, we're, we're hitting it and treating it as a fall. Okay, uh, at least I'm cool. falling. Yeah, 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 that was another question. Written, but no, yeah. that was, yeah, because I heard you guys. Were, yeah. So yeah, it'll we'll be. Da, cool. I'll feel that out in rehearsal too. Likely what'll happen is they'll play it one way and I'll just make a mental note of like, okay, that's how we're ending. Can we do it on yeah, maybe? Yeah. Can we do I to the I, end? Yeah. It's just like a matter of like knowing what are the options, what are people potentially going to play. And then listening, figuring out, okay, that's how they're playing it, and then that's how I'll do it on the gig, you know. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, honestly, I feel pretty good about this. I think 
I'm done my I've done my homework. Are we done? Are you good with that? I think yeah. And yeah, that's perfect. Like... I'll probably listen to the chart a little more and I'll listen to it again closer to the gig in a couple hours. I find my brain works better when I like listen to something and learn it a little bit and then forget about it, go do something else for a couple hours and then come back and like, oh yeah, that's right, that's how this goes. So you obviously only have so much time to do that in a situation like this, but I think it should be fine and it should be fun. All right, so here's a pro tip. If you're coming to MAGFest, just stay at the convention center and park there when you get there and don't leave with your car. I just spent the last hour, I tried to look for parking and then I couldn't find any, so I literally drove back to my hotel where I had parking Parked and then Ubered to the hotel. And also, like, if you're parking at a hotel and you have to pay to park there, you also have to pay to park at the convention center. So you're paying twice. So it's almost cheaper to just park at the convention center when you get there and then don't leave with your car. Just walk wherever you need to go or just stay in the convention center. Anyways. Elijah and I were wearing the same shirt the other day yeah. and I was like joking I was like oh man people are gonna look at us weird now and then there's like you know someone like that that just walks by I'm like oh wait <laughs> <laughs> all right man this is where I'm at yeah awesome, dude buddy. so good to go yeah. to hang with you again you too man thanks for making it happen yeah I I'll hit you up when I come back to Pittsburgh yeah and sounds good we'll make Boston happen. yeah dude that would be so sick that would yeah, be sick yeah. all right awesome. man all right, see, ya. see ya have a good flight hey hey, hey man. I made it so uh, what's the game plan? Oh, I'll introduce you. I'll call you up. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I have my horn out ready and everything. We a very special guest up right now. He's going to be joining us on this Woo! one on alto sax. So give it up for Fullest Frank, you guys. Thanks. So am I playing into that mic also? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Cool. Pleasure. Yeah. I hope yeah. I see you again in the future. Yeah, man. I hope so too. Okay, you look like Foolish Frankie on Instagram. That is me. That is you. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I, I messaged you with the Animal Crossing arrangement. I'm Elisa. No yeah. way. So, yeah. I, I appreciate you checking out the arrangement oh and asking me about I it. I love it means watching a lot. your videos and like your Thank vlogs you. and stuff. Oh, man, well, this yeah. is the vlog here. Do you want in it? Travis. Oh yeah. Woo. Hello, Travis. Hey, what's, what's up? up? Hey, hey. I talked to you yesterday. Yeah, man. I, rec I recognize I'm you. I'm the mariachi guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it means so much. Seriously, no, I don't take that lightly. I oh, really yeah. appreciate you. Hell I really yeah, do, man. man. All right, just got done sitting in with High Ping. Had a lot of fun. I felt like I did not play as well as I could have. I was like shivering. It's so cold down here. That's a stupid excuse, but it's all good. You know, it worked out. The blowing went well. And dude, I don't know if I'll see you guys because I'm splitting tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm splitting. So tomorrow too. yeah, man. I'm out by like good. my hotel. Dude, thank you for dude. everything, man. Yeah, Seriously. Of I had so much fun playing with you and just a blast. I'm definitely already looking forward to BGM. Oh, yeah, dude, me <laughs> too, me too. I'm gonna go hang with Howie for a little bit and then I'm yeah. gonna split. And I'm leaving early tomorrow morning, okay. so. Can I see some oh, IDs? Yes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up? Yes. I made it. Yeah, you made it. Alright, well, this is a wrap for MAGFest 2024 for me. This has been a crazy experience and I'm leaving feeling very fulfilled and excited and inspired to do cool things. It was honestly just so fun too to like meet a bunch of people that 
I've met online but never met in person before and just like having people come up to me and so they've seen my videos and like that just means so much and just like I don't take it for granted and I'm very very grateful for the experiences that I get to have you know because of social media so there's so many amazing creative minds here and also just incredible musicians I definitely have some of that imposter syndrome you know hanging around like Howie Dietz and Dave Pollock and Ryan Devlin today just feeling like I don't belong with these people but it also inspires me to want to keep getting better and better at my instrument and keep working on the things that will bring me more of the opportunities that I want in life that was a weird uber she's like yelling at me for like all right so I'm just leaving the hotel it's Sunday morning and I think this is an important thing for me to document right now, even though I don't want to do it. And that is, I'm feeling very much like I am an underwhelming saxophone player and like I'm not worthy to be playing with these great musicians and hanging with these great musicians. And also worrying, you know, that I'm too much of a content creator and not enough of a musician first and just all of these things. And just feeling like maybe like what I'm doing is not good enough, is not creative enough, is not artistic enough, is not, you know, whatever and like, I don't know where that pressure comes from, but I think it's important for me to mention because it's easy to watch a video like this and see people having a good time at a festival and thinking, wow, like that must be so fun. And it is, it's a blast, I had such a good time. But these are also feelings for me at least that happen often after something like this. And maybe this is normal, but I don't know. I don't want to put this in the video because it feels very vulnerable and scary and personal. But I think that's one of the things that is necessary for me to share on social media because of the nature of it, you know. Anyways, thanks for watching.